guys, listen. Raise the hands again. If you have finished all 10 pass cards, raise your hand. There's an activity on the board that says that you need to answer a question on the back of your paper. It says, have you ever experienced helping others like Harriet Tubman? How? Once you've written that, you can draw an illustration. What's an illustration? Picture. A picture. A picture. You're going to draw a picture and then compare and contrast. So you're looking at what's similar and what's different, right, with a peer. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You might have questions about what to do if you're done. Over here, do you have questions? No. Okay, guys, now that everybody's done with their task cards, I want you to take the flashlights and hold it up in the air so I can come around and collect them. Hold them up, hold them up in the air for me. Make sure they're turned off. We shouldn't be pressing the button anymore. We're going to go ahead and move on and we're going to talk about our task cards. We should be in our seats, following our social contract. I think I'm missing one. Does anybody else have one? Okay, let's go ahead and go to number one. Look at the board, please. Eyes forward. Make sure you have your answer sheet in front of you where you can look at it. So number one says, who was Harriet Tubman? And our choices were A, she was a abolitionist, B, she escaped slavery, C, she freed around 70 slaves, or D, all the above. All the above. So she did all of those things, right? Are there any questions? No, ma'am. Kyrie, do you have a question?
directions or the destination? Remember, we're looking at routes. Okay. It's lines. Tell me why it's lines. Because they used to call them lines because they were like little pathways mm -hmm. that were cut down. Did everybody hear Kyrie's answer? Did y'all hear that? So the reason why they could be called lines is because they were pathways. Just like on our map, they look like those red lines we see all over the map. Do y'all remember? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Well, what does it mean? So it's A lines. Let's look at number five. A series of shelters were called A homes, B businesses, C locations, or D stations. Somebody I hadn't heard from. Do you want to share, Mom? Do you want to show me what you did on your paper instead? Can I see your paper and see what number you put? So you put D. So why do y'all think Molly put stations for number five? Go ahead. Go ahead, Jameer. Because why? Well, let's think this one through, just like we were taking our milestones of common assessments. So when we're looking at shelters, we know that there was homes because they hid in the homes, right? We knew there was businesses because people that were trying to escape were going through the businesses shh, undercover. Y'all remember that? And C, we know it's going to have different locations, but there's one word that fits what the shelters were that they actually called it. So it was kind of like a nickname. Stations, like stop stations. Just stations. Stop. Well, A, like the two words stop. So you're, you should have stations, letter D. Let's look at number six. About how many enslaved people did Harriet Tubman help free? A500, B300, C70, or D50? Michaela, please share. Tell me why it's C. What made you say that number? What did you learn? Very, very good, Michaela. So we remember in our lesson today when we were using our note taker that it was 70. There were 70. But there was, there was sayings and people that have said that she has helped 300, but recent research and current documents are showing that it was actually 70. Does that make sense? Yeah, so y'all know, sorry, go ahead, Jameer. So think about rumors. Do y'all know how sometimes you'll whisper something to somebody or tell somebody something? And then it gets to the next person. Mm -hmm. And then it gets to the next person. Does sometimes that story change even though you don't mean it to? Yeah. Hold your questions and I'll answer in just a second, okay? Do, does everybody know what, what I'm talking about? Yeah. So it's the exact same way. So there was somebody that said, oh, you know what? Harriet Tubman helped 300 people. But that wasn't necessarily true. But we're not sure. But like I said, just based on the recent research and what people are trying to do to find out everything they can about Harriet Tubman shows 70. Kyrie, do you have an answer, a question about this task card? Okay. Well, she actually said 70. How yes. Do you know because it was like a long time ago? It, that's a very good question. It was a long time ago, and so we were able to ask ourselves, but do y'all remember learning about the different texts that you have, and you can look at biographies? And then it has sometimes they have interviews that Harriet Tubman participated in where she was quoted as saying that many. Very good question. Let's move on. Number seven, what did Harriet Tubman do during the Civil War? Was she A, a scout and spy? Was she a nurse? C, was she a cook? Or D, all of the above? Jameer. D. D, she did all of those things. So it's like we talked about before, Harriet Tubman was wanting to help as much as she could. She didn't stop. She didn't do that bare minimum. She didn't just want to get that C in her class. She pushed for that A and she believed in herself just like you should believe in yourself. Do you have a question about this task card? Okay. Uh, actually, uh, number seven, it says none of the above. No, it doesn't. Um, it has all of the oh, above. I mean number nine. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Number eight, when Harriet Tubman left Maryland traveling on the Underground Railroad, where was she going? Ryan, was she going to Georgia, Pennsylvania, Delaware, or Maine? Maine. Delaware, Maine. All right, let's think about it a little bit. Who is it? It's Pennsylvania. It's Pennsylvania. And that's okay. Remember, guys, we can 
make mistakes because we learn from our mistakes, right? Right. We embrace our mistakes. We hold our mistakes and we learn and keep going. Number nine, what did Harriet Tubman do for people when screaming came for all in the U.S.? Did she A, nothing? She already did what she could do. She ain't going to do nothing else. B, help the people in their new lives. C, she was captured and could not help, which means that she was taken back and was a slave again. No. Or D, none of the above. Wait a minute. Kaylee. Uh, B. B, she helped the people in their new lives. Remember that she helped them once they were free. And she even had the homes for them. So that would be B. Number 10, which of the following is a challenge Harriet Tubman faced? A, she helped many enslaved people to freedom. B, a medical condition from an injury. C, avoiding capture. Or D, both B and C. And did y'all notice something about this task card? Challenge. So we're looking for the challenge that Harriet Tubman had. Somebody I hadn't heard from yet? Somebody want to share? Caitlin? Um, D. Okay. So it was a challenge that she had that medical condition or the health issue from the injury, but was there something else in our answers that could have been Gracie? Okay, remember we're looking for a challenge. I like what you're thinking, but that was a contribution. Remember, that's something that she gave, something good. We're looking at a challenge. So are there any other options or... Just one. Gracie? So we know it can't be A. And Caitlin said possibly B. And then C is avoiding capture. And D is both B and C. What are you thinking? Do you think it's just B or do you think there's something else? D. So it is medical condition from an injury and avoiding capture. Because remember, we're looking at the hardships, the challenges. Right? Do you have another question about this task card? We did eight. Remember, we talked about um, where she was going. But thank you for trying to make sure we covered all of them. What was it again? For number ten. Number eight. For number eight. B. B. Pennsylvania. Was Pennsylvania. Okay. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your task card answer key. You're gonna put them together in your table, and you're gonna put them back in the folder. You're gonna take your note taker and put it in the social studies side of your of your black folder.
exit tickets really important because we want to make sure that you understand everything so be honest on it okay i hope y'all have a great rest of the day thank you for learning with me